What's good with YouTube? Y'all already know, Big Flocker with the Convicts Reaction, where we smash, dash, and react. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire reactions. So, I seen a video, I didn't really watch it too much, because it's, uh, you know, everybody pretty much knows uh, why some of the cats from down south don't watch some of the YouTubers from up north in the prison genre. So, my reaction to the video without, with not even really watching the video is why do uh, Southern podcasters not like some YouTubers? How about how come some of us YouTubers from the prison genre don't care for those from down south in their podcast? That's my reaction to it. There's a lot of Southern podcasters I just don't like. I don't care for. I don't watch their shit. And that's just the truth of it. And it has nothing to do with them from being Southern Californian because there's some channels up north. I won't watch their shit either. Um, but there's a few that I do watch before I, I, I go into why. I don't like some of the Southern podcasters. Let me tell you the ones I do watch. I do fuck with Frank's vibes. I mean, I like the shit that he puts out. And I think he's pretty um, transparent. I think he's not biased towards whether you're from the North or South, even though he's from Southern California. You know, I like Joel's Trucker's channel. Um, you know, I wa America Joel's channel, I, walk, I watch. And I've been having like a indifference of opinion lately. I think before, there was one time where I thought he was on the right track and he was staying away from a uh, you know, some of the stuff, right? But lately it's been like, uh, a little bit questionable on my end, some of, the, some of the things I've been seeing, man. But for the most part, right, I try to watch every channel. It does not mean I always like every channel or fuck with every channel. Majority, I don't. <clears throat> and see, it has nothing to do with, um, you know, be, me being from up north and then being from down south, right? My roots are always within the North Daniel Collective period. You can't take that away from someone. That's where I'm from. But I try not to be biased. And I'm pretty sure there's times where I have been biased and I don't realize it, but it's not intentional. The reasons why I don't mess with a lot of South Southern podcasters, what I mean, mean by mess with, I mean watch, is because there's been blamed more um, shots and disregard for Northern California recently, or people feeling a certain way about certain things and bringing in the, you know, the gang aspect of it, right? Especially towards Gold Toes recently, Okay. Um, I do commend those that came forth, like uh, Odachi, uh, Conejo, and even Mr. Criminal. Mr. Criminal is another channel that at first I wasn't I wasn't digging, right? But I may have to reassess it. You know, he's a rapper, and as a rapper, you kind of have to have a uh, you have to have some arrogance to your to your channel. And as a rapper, you have to have some arrogance. That's just how it is sometimes, right? See, a person doesn't have to like me. Or like my past or anything about me for me not to watch their shit. That's their personal choice on that level, right? As long as they don't blatantly disrespect me. I'll, I'll tap in. I'll watch people's shit, right? But if they start to just take shots that are not not true, not valid, just based upon one's standings, then nah, I can't fuck with that. You know what I mean? There's been more anti-North slogans from a lot of the Down South podcasters than before. You know, um, and lots of liberals. Also took it, you know, haters broke pretty much started it, right? With pretty much a fucking bogus conspiracy, right? That even his own people say, man, you're fucking out of loop for this one, right? You know, I think we've been witnessing a lot of uh, proof why um, certain people should basically stay in their lane. Not just in Southern California, but Northern California as well. Now, that doesn't mean that one doesn't have the right to speak upon anything that they want. They do, you know what I mean? But um, have more clarity and more, um, you know explanation about where, where one's position is when they do a video as opposed to um, present something like it's, you know, a factual fucking conversation. A lot of these people are putting just their own interpretations of things without anything that supports any type of facts in their conversations. Now, in addition to this, there's also a lot of podcasters from down south who have the superiority complex to where they think that they're better than the next man. And that's going to rub a lot of people wrong. That right there is maybe the number one reasons why I won't even watch some of these cats' videos down south because they've done that. They've made those gestures towards those from up north. And we're not just talking about the YouTubers from up north. We're talking about everybody from up north. So since none of these um, southern podcasts can really compete with a lot of the prison genre channels up north, as far as knowledge and experience, right, they attack us in other ways. So, when I see videos that say, oh, how come Southern podcasters don't mess with some YouTubers? I don't take offense to it at all because 
those YouTubers from down south that have that type of agenda, there's nothing that they do that benefits my channel whatsoever. Their knowledge and the stuff that I've been part of, they have no knowledge. And it's just pure hate. Now, I get that some will not want to interact just based upon our standings. And I, I can understand that, right? But they have their own double standards. They have their own uh, contradictions. And a lot of times, they don't get called out on that. In addition to this, I've seen it been brought up several times about us, about, you know, uh, the glorifying the war stories and whatnot. I went through a lot of those, you know, uh, channels that have made these comments. And <laughs> to my surprise... When each one of these channels started their channels, they were interviewing people that had been to prison. They were talking about prison, YA, juvenile, county jail. They were talking about war stories, shootings, stabbings, jumpings, and whatnot. So it's to me, like I said, when people have that double standard for themselves and, contra and contradict what they state, I kind of can't fuck with that. And that's where I start to you know, pull back from even you know, uh, watching or even supporting See, you could support without actually having any type of interactions, you know. Um, but once I see that fake shit, that riffraff, to me, it tells me that people are changing in accordance to how the algorithm is working and what's going to get them the most views. And they don't care if they fucking uh, get caught up with uh, hypocritical statements or, or whatnot. Now, another reason why I don't support some Southern podcasts, like I said, some is because I think that a lot of them are two-faced. You know, someone will come on and talk about, you know, change as far as the streets, about gangs and whatnot, anti-gang street stance, and then you'll you'll catch, you'll see them get caught up being involved in some type of gang activity, being associated with certain gang members, doing certain things, throwing up gang signs, you know, and to me, that's just, that's two-faced. That's fake. That's not being real. That's showing one side of you of what you want people to see in certain platforms, right? And then doing the total opposite elsewhere. I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with this phrase. You can't serve two masters. You know, you can't walk a line where you're trying to pacify one side, yet at the same time trying to get the support of others. You got to go in full throttle if you're going to expect any type of difference in your communities and whatnot. And that tells me one of two things. Either one, they're scared, right? Which I can understand that living in Southern California. They're scared to call out the ones who have oppressed the Rasa more than any other group in Southern California. They will not call that out because they're scared. Or two, they're hypocrites. They're part of the same thing that they're, they stand against. They're doing all this just for fucking their own selfish benefits. Because they don't believe in it. But they're doing it for their own pockets. You get what I'm saying? Because either there's no... Uh, you can't basically have your cake and want to eat it. Right? You can't just serve two masters. You can't say you're about the community yet. Allow and not stand against the individuals and group that have caused more destruction to our communities in over 60 years than anybody else. But yet you'll call out some dropouts that live fucking thousands of miles away that don't have any type of influence in your community. See, that makes no sense to me. That's why I can't support certain shit, man. That's why I don't tap into certain shit. You got people whose whole sort of, you know, defense is that we're dropout channels or we're PC channels, even though I've never even been PC. That's their whole way of backing up and defending themselves against a lot of things that we have to say. No one takes into account that if you go through basically our credentials of experience, places we've been, positions we hold, people we're around, we have more credibility than even some of these cats from down south as far as having interactions with their big homies. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of shocks me from time to time that people have that type of hate that they want to have themselves be looked at as the superior out of all individuals and groups on this YouTube thing. It just shocks me from time to time, man, that people go to that extent and turn this into a competition. Now, when that doesn't win their, you know, argument, this is what they come out with next. They say, well, who are these gavachos? What, what, what are these gavachos just talk about fucking our business or our, our lifestyle? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this kills them every time because 
my uh, retort is this. What about Joe Morgan? What about Weddle Shy? Because most of the time, these these uh, arguments come from someone that's from Southern California, never from the North, really. Always someone from Southern California. Well, what about these two individuals? They were uh, some of the highest ranking members, as far as by their peers, within the Mexican Mafia during the time where they were alive and active. Because I honestly don't think that the hate that these individuals try to display or the dislike that they have for some of us has anything to do with us being dropouts. Because there's channels down south that are not active, right, individuals that they never go after, right? It has to do that we're from Northern California. And our knowledge in certain parts of the game, you know, uh, passes them up that they have a certain feeling about that that they want to prove themselves. They want to try to knock us down in that process. So that's why I don't fuck with none of these, some of these Southern podcasts. There's some I support, you know, and I don't go on out there and uh, advocate fucking verbally or anything like that. I check, check, check their stuff out. If they have a, a good point, I support it. You know what I mean? But other than that, I stay and do my own name. And a lot of people don't like that. With that said, your boy from a comics reaction, I'm gone.